How to exfoliate the right way. If you don't already include an exfoliant in your skincare routine, it may be time you started. Exfoliants have come a long way after the last few decades, and gone are the days that you just used to manually scrub dead skin cells off your face, leaving your skin red and irritated in the process. We're big believers in using functional skincare here at the Miami Skin Institute, so anything that can bring back that dewy, youthful glow is something we want our ladies to do. Knowing how to exfoliate safely and effectively is key, and we have everything you need to know about adding exfoliants into your routine. What is exfoliation? For starters, do you know what exfoliation actually is? The term gets thrown around a lot, but the actual science behind what they are and how they work is fascinating. The main purpose of exfoliation is to remove the layer of dead skin cells that build up on the outside of the skin. Our skin is naturally constantly working to renew itself. The process takes about 30 days, give or take a few days, depending on your age. This process is also constantly occurring, and it is estimated that we shed about three to 4,000 dead skin cells in a single day. As great as our body is as being able to shed those cells naturally, there are times when the turnover rate slows down, or our skin is less efficient at being able to get rid of the dead skin cells. This can make the skin look dull and tired, and that's where exfoliation comes in. When we wash our face, exfoliation can help scrub the dead skin cells off of the epidermis. However, we can up the ante even more by using exfoliation. Here are just a few of the benefits of learning how to exfoliate. We can unclog pores. We can reduce the risk of blemishes. We can help products penetrate deeper into the skin. We can brighten the skin tone, boost circulation, and promote lymphatic drainage. We can increase skin cell turnover. We can stimulate collagen synthesis. Ultimately, exfoliants are just one more tool that you can use to help your skin look and feel as healthy as possible. Exfoliation methods. There are two different methods that you can use to exfoliate your skin, mechanical and chemical. Each has slightly different advantages and disadvantages, so make sure to take into account your specific skin type. Mechanical exfoliation. Mechanical exfoliation is the old school way of exfoliating the skin, although it still has its benefits. These are the physical methods that use force to remove the dead skin cells from the top layer of the skin. Here are a few examples. Exfoliating brushes. These have been gaining popularity again recently, and you may have heard of a new way of using them, known as dry brushing. Essentially, exfoliating brushes use bristles to manually remove the dead skin cells. Exfoliating scrubs. Exfoliating scrubs are those with tiny beads or other materials in them that you can feel scrubbing in your skin when you use them. These are applied with your fingertips in a circular motion and washed off immediately afterwards. Exfoliating gloves or sponges. These are usually for the body and not for the face. Exfoliating gloves and sponges can help the rest of your body look more radiant as well. Just apply your bath products in the shower and scrub away. Chemical exfoliation. When most people talk about exfoliating the skin, they're doing so with chemical exfoliants in mind. While mechanical exfoliants physically remove dead skin cells using force, they also help to dissolve the bonds between them on a microscopic level. This allows them to gently wipe the face using a cotton pad or washcloth. Here are three common ingredients used in this process. Alpha hydroxy acids, or AHAs. AHAs are water-soluble acids applied to the skin surface. Common AHAs include glycolic acid, citric acid, and lactic acid. These are best used by people with dry skin. Beta-hydroxy acids, or BHAs, like salicylic acid, are oil-soluble. They work best for people with a more oily skin type as they can get deeper into the pores where the oil glands are in order to work. Polyhydroxy acids, or PHAs. PHAs are newer to the skincare market and include lactobionic acid and maltobionic acid. They tend to work better for people with sensitive skin as they have a larger molecular shape so they don't penetrate as deeply into the pores. How to exfoliate safely. Safe exfoliation is key to being able to see the benefits of using these products. 
Rushing in too quickly can damage the skin, as well as being extremely uncomfortable. You also need to consider your skin type, as different techniques work best for various skin types. No matter what method or ingredients you go with, though, it's essential to always be gentle with your skin. It's tempting to want to scrub harder, use exfoliants more frequently in an attempt to get quicker results, but it doesn't work that way. Slow and steady wins the race with exfoliants every time. If you're using chemical exfoliant, which we recommend, use as little of the product as you can to cover your whole face, usually the size of a pea. Most products don't equal quicker or better results, but may lead to an increased risk of irritation instead. Always start with clean face. If you don't clean your face before exfoliating, you're essentially throwing the product away because it will be unable to penetrate as deeply into the skin as it needs to. Cleansing your face leaves your pores more open and able to accept the remainder of your products, making them more effective than they otherwise would be on their own. In general, exfoliation happens after cleansing. If you're using a toner-based exfoliant, you'll want to apply it after your skin has been patted dry. If you're using a serum-based exfoliant, you'll use them after your cleansing and toning routine. Regardless, you will always want to end your skincare routine with a quality, supportive moisturizer. Dry skin can create its own issues, so make sure to give it the moisture it needs to stay firm and radiant. Also, make sure that you're aware of any irritation that is occurring. Same goes for excessive tightness, redness, or flaking. This isn't a situation where you want to just power through, and you should listen to what your skin is trying to tell you. If any of these symptoms occur, limit the exfoliation to no more than twice a week. If that doesn't work, you may want to take a break and rehydrate your skin before trying again. This is part of why it's so important to start slowly and build up your skin's tolerance to the exfoliation process. Don't forget to use sunscreen. Although everyone should wear sunscreen regularly, it is even more important for people who are using exfoliants. Because exfoliants can increase the skin's turnover rate, it is constantly working to renew itself. This can also leave it more vulnerable than normal to the damaging rays of the sun. Adding sunscreen to your skincare routine and reapplying it every hour to two hours when you're outside in the sun is essential to keeping your skin looking as youthful and healthy for as long as possible. When looking for sunscreen, the most important factor is choosing one you'll know you'll regularly wear. Whether that means a clear sunscreen, a spray, or an SPF included in your moisturizer or foundation, if you don't want to apply it on your skin, it's not going to be very helpful. In addition, the American Cancer Society urges you to use one that has a broad spectrum protection against both UVA and UVB rays with an SPF of at least 30. This keeps your skin as safe as possible, not only against premature aging, but also more concerning health issues, like skin cancer. You can look beautiful and stay healthy for far longer when you make a point to use sunscreen regularly. In conclusion, learning how to exfoliate safely can make a significant difference in your skin's health and appearance. When you use the right products and support your skin with the hydration it needs, you can unleash the beautiful, radiant skin you've always wanted.